welcome back home enthusiasts. We're just at shopaguy.com and today we are in the home. In this video, two soundbar brands will be going head to head. We have the Klipsch soundbar and the Sony soundbar. A good soundbar does amazing wonders to improve your home entertainment setup. They offer a few advantages over more traditional home theater speaker setups as they tend to take up less space, are easier to set up, and are often more affordable. If you're looking for a soundbar to improve your movie and gaming experience, then you clicked on the right video. For today's video, we'll be pitting two top contenders, the Klipsch Soundbar and the Sony Soundbar, against each other in a battle of style and substance. Both of these units have earned four badges from our team at TrustedShopaGuy.com, ensuring their quality, durability, and performance. However, there's only one room for a winner, so sit back, relax, and watch as we battle it out in today's Brand Wars. If you're interested in the other soundbars that we reviewed, do check out our soundbar review video link below. If you want direct links to the products themselves, all these links are also listed below too. So without further ado, let's start with Brand Wars. The first category that these soundbars will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their design and build quality. Design and build quality are very important factors when choosing a soundbar to add to your setup. If you want to maximize the audio of your soundbar, we recommend getting one that's the right size for your room. A small to medium home theater usually requires a standard soundbar system, but large entertainment rooms ideally need to have a soundbar equipped with a subwoofer. Both the Klipsch Cinema 600 and the Sony HT-SD35 are rather wide and likely won't fit between the legs of most 55-inch TV stands. However, they're not very tall, so they shouldn't block your TV screen unless your TV sits flush on your table. As far as build quality goes, the Klipsch Cinema 600 is mostly made of plastic, while the Sony soundbar has a metal grill around the sides that helps protect the drivers inside. There's also a faux leather material on the top of the bar itself, which feels nice. In terms of shape and form factor, the two soundbar units are very similar. However, we'll have to award this round's point to the Sony soundbar since it has a more solid build quality thanks to its metal grill protection. The second category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their audio quality. Of course, it wouldn't be a soundbar comparison video if we weren't going to talk about their audio quality and stereo frequency response. A good sound profile is often overlooked when picking out speakers of any sort in favor of a loud bass sound. If you want to get the most bang for your buck, however, you should prioritize good sound levels across the board so you don't have to keep changing volume levels whenever the dialogue is too silent while the musical score is too loud. The Klipsch Cinema 600 has an impressive stereo frequency response. Its sound profile is balanced with an extended low bass, making it suitable for listening to lots of different types of audio content. The overemphasis in the mid treble may make sibilants like S and T sound seem piercing or bright. On the other hand, the Sony HD S350 stereo frequency response is okay at best. Its sound profile is dark and muddy due to the lack of low bass and the underemphasized treble. Its mid-range is still quite balanced, so vocals and lead instruments are reproduced fairly clearly. While movies sound pretty decent on the bar, this feature isn't really ideal for stereo content like music. Although the Sony soundbar uses a front surround sound to compensate for its muddled sound profile, the Klipsch soundbar wins this category for its impressive audio quality and balanced sound profile. The third category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their latency performance. High latency is a surefire way to ruin a climactic moment in your favorite movies, TV shows, or games. Latency refers to the delay between the image on your TV and the audio coming out of your soundbar. It's most easily noticeable when characters talk on screen, as their voices can be heard before or after their lips move, which can ruin your immersion experience. The Klipsch Cinema 600 has fairly low latency, so the audio you hear should be in sync with the video you see on your screen. As a result, it's a solid choice for watching videos and movies. Some apps and TVs compensate for latency differently though, meaning your real-world experience can differ. The Sony HD-S350, however, has a bit of a high latency performance, so your visuals might appear on the screen a bit before you hear the corresponding audio. This delay is most noticeable with lip syncing. If what you're looking for is total immersion when watching movies and TV shows, then the Klipsch soundbar is definitely the right choice to make. It earns this round's one point, making the score 2-1 to one in favor of the Klipsch Cinema 600. The fourth category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their interface and ease of use. You might have the best sounding speakers for your home entertainment system, but if you can't figure out how to get the best performance out of them, then you might as well throw your hard-earned money down the drain. For this reason, a good interface and ease of use are a must-have when choosing a soundbar or home speaker system for your setup. 
The level of difficulty may vary from person to person, but the intuitiveness of the design is a good way to figure out how easy a soundbar is to use. The Klipsch Cinema 600's interface consists of a small display on the right side of the bar, which shows the input, volume level, and power status. Some horizontal LED lights act as volume indicators, and they display certain colors depending on the input. The remote lets it control all of the bar's features. The interface of the Sony HD S350, on the other hand, is much easier to understand and consists of only three lights that flash when you change the settings. The remote control is slim and can control all the functions of the bar. It has some preset modes that can control the volume of the subwoofer independently but can't act as a universal remote. For its intuitive user interface and remote control design, we believe the Sony soundbar narrowly beats its competition for this round. It's a much easier unit to understand and use, making it an attractive choice for people who are getting their very first soundbar. The fifth and final category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their additional features. Other additional features such as wireless playback, power saving modes, and sound enhancement show just how much thought and care went into designing and manufacturing the speakers. For this reason, we believe a category dedicated to all these additional features should make the case for each soundbar being more worthwhile than the other. Both the Klipsch Cinema 600 and the Sony HD S350 allow wireless playback over a Bluetooth connection. However, you won't be able to stream audio wirelessly over Wi-Fi, which is a bummer considering the price point these two speakers come at. In terms of power saving, however, you start to see a stark difference between the two units. The Klipsch Cinema 600 doesn't have this feature, so it won't help you conserve energy if you forget to manually turn it off. On the upside, the Sony HD S350 enters a standby mode after some time of inactivity, so you won't have to give it a second thought once you've hit play in your Netflix series, Benchwatching Marathon. Although both units are clearly good in their own ways, we believe the Sony soundbar truly sets itself apart from the competition because of its power-saving feature. Finally, we have come to the end of this battle of soundbars between the Klipsch soundbar and the Sony soundbar. Even though it was a very tough fight, the Sony soundbar beats the Klipsch soundbar by a narrow margin of one point with a final tally of 3-2. As much as we would like to keep going on about the wonderful features these soundbars offer, there can only be one victor today, and the Sony soundbar has already claimed its throne as it waits for yet one more battle with another formidable opponent. And there you have it folks, the battle between the Klipsch soundbar and the Sony soundbar has finally ended. If you have any contenders for a next soundbar face-off, which you would like our team to test, do drop it in the comments section below and we'll be sure to assess them for a next update. If you like this video and it helped you in any way, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay connected and updated with all of our research into everything that makes our homes great. We look forward to seeing you at the trustedshoppingguide.com again soon.